games today can be absolutely phenomenal. They can be deeper than the Mariana Trench, look almost better than real life, and can tell stories that will be remembered for years to come. However, as we've seen time and time again, a game doesn't necessarily need to be the prettiest or have the biggest budget to be successful. In fact, all it needs is one good idea. Introducing Splitgate, an arena shooter that on the surface looks more basic than a pumpkin spice drinking, nursing student in activewear. However, once players start to realize that everyone has a portal gun, the possibilities suddenly become endless. The game quickly goes from an average attempt at something better to a game that is so much more interesting and in many ways more enjoyable than what any AAA studio would think to make. This system of portals opens up so many possibilities, and it's clear that the more a player leans into these 900 IQ strategies, the more fun and success they are likely to have. In fact, this game encourages a person to make use of all of these more creative and unexpected approaches. You could even say that you're incentivized to embrace the bullshit. Nothing else about this game is necessarily exceptional, but every single aspect is very solid, and it all comes together to feel so fucking good. The gunplay is satisfying, the game runs like a dream, and the graphics, although not impressive, are used really well to show off the surprisingly diverse set of maps. What many games often seem to forget is that the end goal is fun and enjoyment. Trying to grind stupid achievements in Battlefield isn't enjoyable, getting killed just before hitting a kill streak in Call of Duty isn't a good time, and getting destroyed across the map by someone you never saw just isn't fun in a battle royale game. Splitgate strips the shooter genre back to its bare minimum, flips it on its head, and makes the result the very best it can be. It's just mindless, fast-paced, zero-consequence fun. There are a number of weapons that players can use, although by default, everyone is equipped with a very versatile assault rifle. The other weapons can be picked up from certain points around the map, and none of them felt to be more powerful than just a regular loadout. It's clear that finding these weapons is designed to be more of a fun and different experience, as opposed to making a player inherently stronger. Grenade spam is also entirely non-existent, as the only grenade available is an EMP that disables portals. Players can't be cheesed by grenades if there's no grenades. The number of game modes is comparable to the average Call of Duty, with capture the flag, domination, and a regular team deathmatch all being in the rotation. There was also a mode where teams had to fight over possession of a disco ball, where the holder isn't able to attack and merely has to run for their fucking life. I can confidently say without a doubt that those few seconds where you're hopelessly running for your fucking life are some of the most fun that I've had in a very long time. There's also a game mode similar to Kill Confirmed, except every kill needs to be teabagged in order to count. Splitgate never takes itself too seriously, and that's something that can really be appreciated. In truth, it's so hard to even cover this game properly because of how little there is to talk about. It just seems like the perfect game to play when you've been tilted by shitty teammates or don't want to be committed to a long and drawn out story. And with it being completely free on Steam, with only optional cosmetics, I honestly see no reason to not try this if it looks personally enjoyable. This video was less of an in-depth breakdown of the game and more of a public service announcement. Viewers may be wondering if I ever plan to make another video on this game again, and honestly, no, I don't think I will. With this in mind, it would be a shame to see this game be overlooked just because there aren't a million videos being made about it every day. Splitgate knows what it sets out to do, and it does it perfectly, and I highly recommend it to anyone looking for a stress-free, mindless fun experience. TED Talk over.